Thank you so much for joining us. Waterworks returns this week to the Fort James Reverse Osmosis Plant. Quite a bit of work has taken place here. One of it is that these multimedia filters, the first point of contact for the water as it comes in from the sea to be desalinated, are already in place and of course the foundations have been cast. Talking here with uh, Project Mechanical Engineer for the APA Water Business Unit, Brian Nicholas, who will of course this week again give us an update. He's been so kind and gracious as to be giving us updates from his very busy schedule here. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Brian. Really appreciate it as usual. Uh, so quite a bit has happened here. Let's walk me through that, please. Sure, yeah. Um, thank you for, again, coming. Well, as you mentioned, since we've been last here, we've been able to complete the basis for the multimedia filters. We have also <coughs> completed the, oh, well, not completed, we're near completion of the process pipe works that will connect the RO unit to these multimedia filters. We're in the process of completing the installation of the raw water pumps. And you may recall that those pumps are responsible for starting the process. Those bringing the, the raw water or salt water into these multimedia filters, then onto the high pressure pump where that then goes through the membranes. And of course, the product that comes out is indeed the potable water that we can use. Excellent. And uh, so, many, so many things happening simultaneously because I see that the control unit, or at least part of the control unit, is already in place as well. That's what, walk me through that, please. Yeah, that's right. Um, we have in place um, some of the brain, if you want to call it that, for operating the processes of, of the plant. We have yet to install the main circuit breaker panel. That, I believe, will be done by next week. And so, as far as the electrical and control works are concerned, we are getting those done, and those should be completed, I believe, in maybe another week or so. Excellent. Let's walk me through timelines now. What are we looking at? Are we still on course for this plan to be completed within a few weeks? Yes, I, I think we, for the most part, we are pleased with the progress. Yes. There are some delays, and, and we'll get to that. But for the most part, I think we'll meet our target deadline towards the end of this month, where you can expect to have the first um, drop of water being produced from Fort James. Okay. You know, you, uh, plant. And you said drop us in. Uh, you're using just the beer unit, of course. <laughs> this plant is expected to produce up the initially 500,000 gallons of water. That right? is correct. Half a million gallons initially and upgrading to a million, which just a second unit similar to the one that we have on site, which would then give us um, one million. Storage. I see that you're already doing some work for the laying the foundation, literally for the storage tanks. Walk me through that, please. Sure. Well, what we have done is just create the pad, complete the, the groundwork for the pad of those tanks. Now, you, earlier I mentioned that, you know, we have some delays, and that's one of the source of delays. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, due to shipping constraints, and you, we are aware of what's going on presently, we suffer too from, from those vagrancies. And so, as a consequence, the tanks are about maybe another three weeks away from us. The impact that will have on us um, in terms of storage, yes, but we have already come up with a solution that will not affect our deadline, our bottom line, of having water produced from this plant towards the end of August. You want to shed me, through, shed me some light on the, on the contingency range, the work sure. around? We, we have a, a, a smaller tank, uh, keep in mind the tanks that we are talking about here, the main tanks are 350,000 gallons. And so there are two of them. And two of two of those, right. So we intend to use a small tank where that will be used as a tank for distributing water onto our system. Just remind me again, uh, just for our, our viewers, uh, Brian, who might have missed previous editions of Waterworks, when this plant is operational and begins to produce 500,000 gallons of potable water per day, which are the communities which are going to be impacted? So um, the immediate communities, and, and again, the, remember, we have the ability provided our distribution pumps are sized, we have the ability to take the water to even beyond these communities. But, for the purpose of your question, we're talking about Villa, we're talking about Point, we're talking about Yachts, we're talking about Crosby's, um, Cedar Grove, those, those days, St. John's even, because you, you do appreciate that those areas are very much in close proximity to this location. So those would be the immediate area. And one other thing I, I might add, we will then have an, we will have an express line from this facility to the port where we will be servicing the cruise ships. Towards the end of this month, you're expecting to be able to produce, start to produce water from this. That is correct. Location. And again, 
our indication so far and how the way pro the, the pro sorry the way the project is progressing we are not seeing anything that would cause us to say we won't need a deadline of course should that happen we will certainly share that and of course share why the delays what delays um, we're experiencing all right Re really appreciate it brian nicholas project mechanical engineer for the apo water business unit and as you indicated you will be sharing that information to the public the conduit pun intended for sharing that information to the public is waterworks every week every Friday, where we keep you across all the developments as it relates to the APUA's uh, efforts to improve water production in this country. And of course, after what more water is produced, the next challenge is to ensure that that water is distributed efficiently. And that's why the piping, the HDB pi HDP pipes, become absolutely critical, high-density polyethylene pipes. We will talk about that in another edition of Waterworks as well. But for now, thank you so much for having joined us for this edition from Fort James, where there has been significant work in terms of the progress towards getting this plant, the newest one in the, being, being developed by the APA Water Business Unit, to produce an additional 500,000 gallons of water for your taps. See you next week.